Hello and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. We're going to continue with the Clear Skies Part 2 today, so the Akua story missions. We prepared some ammo for the scout and also for ourselves and also a little bit of food. So we're ready to go. Let's go to the archery range. Off we go. Oh, and we reached level 10 last episodes from collecting the resources, right? Let me show you what I plan to have next. This one, the Merc MX-5E. It's still a small ship, but this one has a warp drive. It will allow us to jump around here in the system. It's a level 10, so we can do this now. Following seven devices need to be unlocked. Ramp, CPU extender tier 2, thruster jet S, pentaxid tank. Let's see. Pentaxid tank. CPU extender. Thrusters jet is what we need. Ramps. The warp drive. Two devices are missing. Ventilators and cockpits. Armored cockpits. Armored cockpits are somewhere here. And the ventilators, I believe, are in a misc. Yes. What do we need? Carbon, iron, copper, silicon, cobalt. Oh, we need cobalt for this one. Titanium should be okay and neodymium. Okay, add to factory. 54 minutes. Nice. Okay, continue with the mission. The Merc can be upgraded to a CPU tier 3. It can then have shields and a constructor. And of course it has way more carry capacity than this ship has. And back we are. Hello, Captain. Hello, my friend. The reports from the patrol are worrying me. We have been encountering old technical remnants of the Xerax more and more frequently, which seem to have strangely reactivated. The patrol has found an old comm array. Since I assume that you have the necessary expertise, I'd like to ask you to have a look. If these Imperials think they can play tricks on us, they are mistaken. I'd be happy to help. We're going to the old comm array. And keep scanning while we go. Interesting. I am detecting an active communication process from the antenna system of the station. That doesn't seem to fit. We should look for a console inside the station and download what we can. And we hop out and see. We take a look. Where's the entrance? Yeah. Let's check with the drone first. Assault cyborg, okay. And I believe there's a turret up here. Cyborgs, okay. What if we got laser rifle cells? Nice. Yes, these guys shoot at you. Yes, they do. Press F to switch lever. <laughs> Was that a good idea? <laughs> Access denied. Authorization required. Manual hacking, 80% success chance. 
Access granted. Reports have been generated. Download reports. Report has been exported. Communication data. Check for more reports. What does IDA say? The station has a connection with one of the nearby moons. The counterpart is sending activation codes that apparently activate all drones on our side here. Ugh. We should shut down the station. There is a switch somewhere in the station. Okay. <laughs> so we were ahead of time, yes? No further reports are available. Exit. That was the switch we found up there, right? I should have checked the console first, but okay. It is what it is. How do we get out? Shut down com array. We've done that. Attention, Commander, that seems to have set off the self-destruct sequence. Let's get out of here, okay. Return to the archery range. Oh, what's this? A damaged drone. Yes, yes. Level 12 reached. Okay. Let's get back to the archery range. Put the weapon away. Captain of the guard. Hmm, drones. An active communication signal that is trying to cause chaos here. We have already lost two of our airships. But that doesn't sound like our rather clumsy Xerex friends. There must be more to it. I need to discuss it with the others. Please come back later. See you later. Reputation. 150 reputation. How's our reputation now? 1780, almost 18,000, nice. Okay, that was part two. Only playing for 20 minutes, so I think we should at least start part three. Let's have a backup here. So it's later, we're coming back. Hello, Captain. I have just come from the planning staff. The matter may be more serious than it appears. These incidents seem to be increasing near the old installations and ruins. Anywhere where old equipment is still stored. I sent a patrol to the artifact site a few days ago, but they haven't reported back yet. You are well equipped. I would like to ask you to go and check on them. If the situation permits, take a good look at the site and gather as much information as you can. I'd be happy to help. Artifact site, yes, four kilometers, okay. Off we go to the artifact site. Here we are at the artifact side. An old talent facility. Oh, I couldn't read that quickly. I'm detecting an unknown form of radiation that seems to be emanating from an underground facility at this excavation site. Need to find a way down and investigate. And quickly check with the drone. Nothing in here yet, but I believe stuff will spawn if we come close. Why oh, the frame rate is dropping? Yes, alien bugs.
this. What's this? Press F to talk to Ren Inhal. Maintenance report. Let's see. Ever since the thing in the cellar suddenly came to life, nothing has gone right here. Breakdowns and equipment malfunctions are becoming more frequent. I hear a voice in my head saying Pro Engin Tihor. We hope you heard that as well, right? Next to the obelisk? We have again urged Tash Architellan for information, but she seems unavailable at the moment. We have provisionally sealed the entrance and isolated this console from the network so that we can at least still maintain operations. I hardly think that will do any good ultimately. No one dares to go below anymore and, unfortunately, the main power switch is down there. Okay. So we know where we have to go, down there. Cauldron. Spoiled food. Dino stew, yes. Let's put the stuff into the fridge. The spoilable stuff. And make sure that the fridge is turned on. Yep. And this talking oh cobalt alloy, nice. Some fuel. This can all go into the container controller. Let me have a backup. Quickly take a look. Fifty frames, forty five. Wow. Okay. Another report. Damage private data device. Yeah, let's see what it says. Tash Architellan, lock number two. Thirty days ago, the obelisk suddenly lit up. Invisible voices have started to speak to us, repeating the same sentence over and over. Pro Enkin Tihor. What does that mean? Nothing else has happened since then, but these voices are haunting me to sleep. I had a strange dream the other night. A dark room with strange moving lights. They were almost humanoid. Is that what these are? These the progenitors? There is activity on the other artifacts as well. Sometimes they switch on and off. I might need to get some rest and first and foremost get out of here. It seems that the voices that can be heard around the moon are especially strong near to or inside the obelisks. Oh, okay, what do we have here? Okay, I think this is always the same that you found in these consoles. What do we have here? Some spices, yes. Trumpet greens. Now I remember that there was some some nasty creature spawned in here. Yes, an abomination. And what do we have here? Mobility boost, nice, and a drill. We put on the mobility boost. Yes. And sort the rest away. Got ourselves a drill, very good. This all goes into the fridge.
And what do we have here? Na Ismrel, xenologist. The artifact radiation has slowly subsided since the end of the war. My colleagues on Ningus, however, have told me strange things. Radiation is said to be affecting the Hishkal population over there, but they sent no further data. Idiots. Now I have to go there myself and check on the spot. At least I can finally get out of this ruin. The technician corps can certainly set me up with a proper lab by the time I get back. I can't work like this. Okay. We'll take a look downstairs. There's a few infected guys. One, two, three, four, five. That's three of them. Number four. And number five. Mambo number five. Yeah, and then we're back here, okay. And then we go up. Ugh. Oh, the frame rate is really bad in here. Can I get them? No, I only got one of them. <laughs> okay. Yes, gotcha. Okay, put it into the fridge. Oh, we got sprouts, pumpkin, tomato, aloe vera, and wheat. Nice. Nice, nice. Hmm. And we're back here, okay. Investigate underground facility where we have investigated now. There's nothing more to investigate. We have seen everything. Let's see if this mission tells us and continue to investigate the underground facility. On to the underground. We've done this all. Going in there one more time, but I believe we have seen everything. You have this level here. We check these two things, yes. We've checked this one.
Check this one. Yeah, that's all you can do. And then go follow this one. <laughs> the sounds are quite spooky. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, we've checked the whole thing. Okay. I don't know. So let's check it manually. Investigate the underground facility. Yes, we've done this. Thank you. Return to the archery range. Okay. And let me go around and loot everything here. All the good stuff. Also all this and berries or what we get here. Yes. Yes, yes. We pick this all up. Why not? Oh, and we have sweetener here. Natural sweetener. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see what we got. But sweetener, plant protein, berries, plant fibers, alien plasma T6, and some phoenix fern stuff. Okay, not bad. Let's get back to the archery. Yes, back we are at the captain. Hello, captain. Infected, you say? And they attacked you directly? Yes, I'm afraid I expected something like this. We've been observing this infection increasingly in recent days and weeks. And that creature, that abomination, we see it more and more in and around the old facilities. First the drones, now this. We need to get to the bottom of this. Please come back later, I have to clarify some things. Okay, see you later. That was part 3 of the Talon storyline. Clear Skies part 3. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Goodbye. Ah. Oh, lecker. So ein Kaffee ist schon mal feines. Lecker, lecker.